Is the universe good or evil? We can express truth and falsehood, right and wrong, using true and false, or one and zero. These expressions are closely tied to the most basic operations we use in logic. For example, one and zero is equal to zero, one. Zero is equal to one, and one equals zero. From these foundational operations, more complex logical structures, like XOR, can be created, forming the basis for all computations done on computers. Through these operations, we've built virtual realities and even created AI that surpasses human intelligence. So this leads us to a fundamental question. Is the universe we live in good or evil? If we think about it simply, goodness might be understood as helping one another, while evil could be seen as destruction and selfishness. Through abstraction, we might associate goodness with one and evil with zero. In fact, the world can be described in countless sequences of zeros and ones. For instance, using zero in an end and operation creates space for new ones to emerge allowing for growth and renewal. In Surreal Numbers, a book by John Conway and written by Donald Leff, the world begins from nothing, forms sets of nothingness, and expands into zero and one. The book speaks of a number system that incorporates natural numbers, real numbers, and imaginary numbers through game theory. If we abstractly think that the most fundamental particle in our universe is countable, then the Surreal Number System which describes every number that has ever existed, might be the closest theory we have to explain the universe. However, physicists propose that the universe began from nothing with the Big Bang, expands, and will eventually return to complete nothingness. At the end of this nothingness, they imagine a new Big Bang, much like in a science fiction novel, starting the cycle over again. If that's the case, perhaps we need a numerical system that represents cycles, a system capable of expressing the cyclical nature of zero and one, good and evil. This cyclical nature is something we can observe in life as well. Whether in people, animals, objects, or plants, everything embodies both good and evil, participating in the cycles of life. Even life and death are part of a greater cycle, as death gives rise to new life. We all make mistakes, feel regret, and at times bring ourselves down, but ultimately, everything is part of a cycle providing new opportunities. Even when we stray or commit wrongdoings, we are part of a flow that allows us to return to positivity and goodness. In the end, the universe, like our lives, may not be confined to static concepts of good or evil, but instead exists in a continual process of cycling. A fleeting decision or action may appear to be evil, but through it, we learn and gain the opportunity to return to goodness. Perhaps the universe and our existence find meaning within this perpetual cycle. Good and evil, life and death, success and failure are all intertwined within a larger flow. And through this flow, we are constantly changing and growing. So when we ask whether the universe is good or evil, the answer may very well be both. The universe doesn't lean toward one side. It continuously evolves through the cycles of good and evil. And perhaps we are all living as part of that grand cycle, 